Well, acoustic is amazing, you know, because electric is it's about amplification. It can be. It can be about amplification and, and intensity. And in my case, I love feedback and heaviness and saturation and high gain and everything. But acoustic has its own. It's just for me. It's just. It was my it was my first love when I was a kid. I had a poster of Keith Richards in my room at you know 11, and my dad's like, "You got a picture of Keith Richards on your wall." He's like my age, and he's like, "Look at him. He's all skinny and creepy." I'm like, "Exactly. It's like a creep. That's what I like. I love his guitar playing. It's simple. It's bluesy. It's heartfelt. But everything he does is an earworm. It's instantly." gettable and you instantly hear it as that and that's the way the, the, the you know a lot of that stuff was U2 was like that the Rolling Stones were like that the Beatles oh my god I've always loved guitar players that are there for the song and they're there for the moment and they don't necessarily have to take the center stage and I've always loved that my brother Robert would constantly throw music at me in between you know his in, in his life and he um, at a pretty early age I had gotten into like kiss and stuff like that and you know which is cool when you're 10 and then he came home from college and he goes this is the clash you will now listen to punk rock and he like there I have spoken you know, early 80s, U2 was a band that I'd gotten into, um, The Cure, you know. Um, and then later in my, l l right around when I met Trent, 87 was when I got into The Land of Rape and Honey with Ministry and um, Skinny Puppy. And then that really took over, like the industrial scene. I liked everything about it because it was heavy, but it was artistically just completely different. Take a picture was me trying to give back to the to the music world of like this is what I I have you know I had a guitar a Gibson acoustic and I was I was I was messing around with the song uh, Dose from Short Bus which goes I love that chord position and then I went. And that was the beginning of the first two chords. And I thought, that's probably too much like Jane's Addiction, but... And then I went, and then I went. And that's always a Keith Richards right there. You know, he's always into that, like... You know, thought, that's dissonant and kind of kind of cool. And then I just started playing. I love that weird suspended ninth. And then I just went. Just like. Take my picture. Cause I won't remember. I, I'd written it and, you know, like. 30 seconds or a minute and it, it actually took less time to write than it takes to listen to it and there was an authenticity to that that I really appreciated and that was just one of the rare moments in my life where I was like I can't believe I just played that I felt the song was really selfishly myopically into my problems that no one else would really care about it then then it was like it, it became the single and then it became the hit and then it became 
And it's weird because I was like, no one's gonna get it. It's just for me, you know, that whole record was a very strange, amazing time in my life. It feels like it just happens. This guitar, it's got a crispness and, and it smells, it smells like Gibson. No, this is it. I'm touching a piece of American history. All of the amazing things that went into the earlier instruments and, and all those people and all that technology and all that development has found its way into my hands, you know, and it's just like, it's perfect. It's gorgeous. And it's lighter, and, but it's that. It's just beautiful. The back is walnut. Look at that. The most fulfillment you'll ever feel is when you, when you finished writing a song and it's yours before you know a lot of people hear it and one day like it could be this big huge thing and like it came from you um you put a few chords together and and you speak to an entire generation i remember being like young like i don't know what i'm going to do with my life but i really hope that i can touch someone's heart the way that music has touched my heart to kind of feel like i'm a part of that for a little bit is amazing